hey, it's New York Beauty XO XO here with another video. I'm in my beauty room at my vanity, and I'm going to do kind of like a get ready with me and a chit chat because my parents are on their way. I was talking a mile a minute in my last video. I had like such anxiety because when I have like too much to do, I get like anxiety because I like, like I want to accomplish tasks. I don't know, whatever. Um, this is going to be like using new products. I'm going to try to get like a full face with just like what I did in my last video, the um, Lancome, because um, I'm kind of staying in air conditioning today. I'm not really going out too much because, you know, my parents are coming and they might stay all day. Who the heck knows? So I'm going to use this for foundation and this, and that that's going to be my look today because like I said, my parents are coming. They really don't care. And I'll probably be outside in the backyard a little while and eating at the table, you know, opening gifts and whatnot. So anyway, um, I don't even know. Should I use a primer? I guess so. They're going to, they're kind of like leaving the house in five minutes and they live about half an hour away or 20 minutes. So I should probably hustle. Um, I'm looking in my, what do you call it? My mirror. So I'm going to do that eye cream. I'm just going to put a little bit on because I'm so excited to try it. And look how many it is. I didn't show you. It's so little. This is my bra, my sports bra. My clothes are drying on the rack. No. Where are they? Opposite. Opposite. Right there. No, right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Psycho is right here. Um, so look how cute this is. I'm going to take that little tip right there and just see my eyes a little bit because when you're in your 40s, it's like a struggle to try to stay young and pretty. I'll tell you that. Um, when I first turned 40, I still look good. Like every year I like will look at older pictures and be like, oh, wow, you know, I haven't really aged. I haven't really aged. I don't really have gray. Like a couple of strands here and there that I'll pick out and. I don't really have that much wrinkles and like I'm still looking young I can still pass for this or that but now I feel like I'm starting to look like in my 40s like 40s and it's like creepy and scary so don't get old YouTube just don't stay forever young forever forever young um should I use the primer uh, I'll look for a primer hey listen why don't I use the Bobby Brown primer since I use the Bobby Brown eye cream and just be all bougie. Is that what they call? Is that what they say? Bougie. That's the new term. It's not fleek anymore. It's lit and bougie. That's the that's the new thing. I haven't even put like um I didn't put face cream on today either. I've been running like a psycho. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell myself. I didn't even say in my last video that it was a NARS foundation. It was the Lightweight uh, Newest Foundation by NARS. I said it in an older video, but I don't know if everyone watches every video. I assume, like, I'm just going to put this, pump it on my hand, and then pick it up with a brush. I just assume, like, when I like a person on YouTube, I, like, watch all their videos. Like, the only time I might not watch a video, honestly, is, and tell me, comment down below and tell me how you feel about it. Um, I'm just using this, some random like bare minerals brush. Um, I basically won't watch a video if it's like a boxy charm when I've already seen someone else's boxy charm, and I know it's pretty much gonna be the same. So I'm like, ugh, like I love you, but I'm not watching another boxy charm video. Like I don't love you that much. Just kidding. Um, you know what I mean, like. Like, if it's an eye look that I've seen before, yeah, I might watch it again because their version might be different. And, you know, it might look really nice. Um, you know, I try to just, like, support the channels and stuff that I enjoy. But um, if it's, like, completely redundant, like, I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm just too busy. Um, if you watch my last video, I was saying that I did overtime in the position... It's the same company, by the way. It's just a different position and a different location. They have multiple buildings in different areas um, around, like, where I live. 
So it's a little bit, it's not a little bit, it's a lot more far from the other job. Like I moved closer to my home, but the pay went down a little bit when I moved closer. So I have the potential to do like overtime in the other position. And right around the time I was leaving, they were like cutting hours and being like weird about it. But like now everybody quit and now they're like, Kind of like being like, oh yeah, come back, work here. Not come back full time, but come back and help us out. So I might be like working like a psycho soon, which is kind of good because I might start putting Christmas money aside. Um, I'm just going to do a light face, like I said, because it's just my parents and me. And I really just want to utilize this box. So I'm just going to let that sit in, do eyes, and then go back and just do bronzer. And that's all I'm doing today. I'm putting this. Um, let's see if I can do this a little bit better. Maybe not. I'm putting this stick on. It's like a cream. I'm, I'm not even putting um, primer on. Just putting this stick right on my eyelid. And um, they call this the cream shadow. I don't know if you can see the difference. There's literally no dis difference. It's almost like putting one of the MAC primers on. Um... Not soft ochre. Actually, this doesn't look like any one of the MAC ones that I have ever used. But, um, I don't know. I mean, like, it covers up maybe, like, any veins. Uh, if you're really trying to do, like, a neutral light eye, you might be able to just put eyeliner on with that. But I would think that would be a base for some sort of, um like eyeshadow, but whatever. I'm um, doing the lipstick. I'm doing everything out of order. Uh, this is brownie. And I don't have a like super cool like camera like most people do on YouTube. Um, this lighting is terrible. This looks like red in the camera. But it really looks like kind of like a brownie nude in person. I know that doesn't help much. Everyone's like, shut off. X out this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am um, definitely not for everyone. If you know what I mean. But it is what it is. I'm not fake. It's not about being fake. So, um, I don't know if I got, quite frankly, all the mascara off my eyes from last night. I, um, I left work. I had the opportunity to, like, go and give blood at my job on Friday, so I left work early. And I went to headquarters, which is only 10 minutes away. And it's 10 minutes kind of closer to my house, depending on, like, which way you go. So I said, all right, let me sign up for it. It'll be like the last appointment of the day. So I got to leave like an hour and 15 minutes, no, an hour and 45 minutes early from my job um, to go give blood. And I did that. And, you know, it's a nice feeling that you go give blood. It was nice to leave early on a Friday as well, especially since I had to work Saturday morning so early in the morning. I went in at 7. Oh, gosh. Um thing was I didn't I signed up for it two weeks before and totally forgot that I signed up for it so I didn't pack like an extra snack and by Friday like my groceries are gone because I grocery shop on like Saturday or Sunday so I like didn't drink enough water didn't potentially eat enough food and I was so freaking lightheaded and the nurses were like flipping out like didn't want me to leave they were like afraid I would pass out just because I started yawning. But like I said to them, I'm like, you know, is yawning really a sign of being like, um, like dangerous or anything? Like after you give blood, because I've been up since 5 a.m. Like I'm tired. That's why I'm yawning. That make that mascara is okay. Yeah. So they were, they were like being a little dramatic over what do you call it? my lightheadedness or whatever. Like, doesn't everybody get lightheaded when they give blood? I'm using the bronzer now. Um, I don't have uh, powder or anything. Like I said, I'm only using what was in that kit. Well, this bronzer is really nice. You can tell when you're using, like, a quality face product. Um, and I have to say, like, before, like, I started YouTube, 
um, I was like, I used like drugstore, but I used a lot of Chanel products. Um, I got like into Chanel like after my wedding and I was like doing pretty well like the year after I got married financially, like the job I was working at and um, I would spend a lot of money on makeup and I like, I like was a Chanel girl. I didn't know any better to go anywhere else. I just went to Chanel, like went to Bobby Brown once and like I didn't really, I don't even think Sephora existed honestly. Like how long has Sephora been around? My mall? Sephora wasn't around uh, 18 years ago, whatever, when I was like, first started with makeup, really, so. Um, all right, so that's pretty much every product at Bobbi Brown, between the Lancome Foundation, the lipstick, the whatever. Um, you can't even really see the shadow stick. The mascara is okay, but I don't do, think I did a great job taking off my mascara from the night before because I'm not really too keen on the eye makeup remover that I'm using right now. Um, I don't know. I'm going to change brands. So I'm going to try like curling again. Like I feel like it's super clumpy because of that reason. So I don't know if that's like a good indication of how good the mascara is, but it still looks pretty good nonetheless but that shadow stick you can barely see can you see a difference in between like here and here I don't know um it does look blended in the mirror but like the camera doesn't look that good and yeah that's it so this is my face of the day and just a little chit chat and um it's fun using new products I mean you know I'm happy so anyway, the cupcakes came out good. My parents are on their way. My husband is coming home in between jobs to say hi. And I think I'm going to do an empties video when they leave. And I had one other video to film, but I just can't remember. Oh, I was going to do the anti-haul, um, the no-buy video. Obviously, I'm on a no-buy, so I really can't shop. But I'm going to do the anti-haul because there was... There was about four or five things that I was like, I don't know, I really wanted to get, but I'm I'm going to do the no buy video. So that might be fun. I don't know. Anyway, YouTube, have a great Sunday. Um, it's a pretty nice day here in New York, and um, that's about it. I'll keep you posted during the week if I have time. I might do even more overtime. And then I'm going to, my husband's birthday is coming up, so I've been kind of doing a lot of overtime because I want to spoil him this year because last year we bought our home, so we kind of like didn't really do anything for our birthdays, and I kind of feel like he lost out on a year, so I already ordered a bunch of things off Amazon. Um, one thing he really wanted, and then a couple of things that are like a surprise that I think he'd get a kick out of, and then he pointed something out that he liked that I'm gonna go run and get. And then there is another thing he wants that costs $200 that he kinda of needs for his business, but he asked for it for his birthday. So between all of those things, plus me baking and taking him out to dinner, I think that should be enough for his birthday. Oh, and there's a cologne he likes too. I don't know if I can afford that though. That's another 100 and, I think that's 120. But um, anyway, so that's kinda of why I'm like, going to be doing a lot of overtime. I want to spoil them this year. So I will keep you guys posted. Maybe I'll do a husband birthday haul before I give it to him. Would you guys be interested in that? Seeing like men's things? Let me know because the Amazon packages should be here within the next three or four days. So um, let me know because I'm going to go shopping this week for him and those packages should be in. And then maybe um, if you guys are interested, I will film a video of that too. So this is New York Beauty XOXO. Um, this is very, like, neutrally makeup, but it's just me and my parents hanging out, so thumbs up, Bobby Brown.